ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಕೊಳಮ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾಪೀಠೆಯೇ ನಿಲಮಾದ್ಯ ಏಕಕಯ ದೆದಾಸ್ ದೊಲಹವಸರೆ ಸಿಎಂ ಉಳ್ಳಾರಾಂಬೆ ಸಣ್ಣಿಟು ಹಂಟರಣ ಫೋಸ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಎದಾ ಮೆದಾತುರ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ತುಲಮ ಪ್ರಮುಖ ತಮ್ಮ ಮಾಧ್ಯ ಏಕತೆಯ ವೆಮಿನ್ ಮೇವನ ವಿಟಾ ತಮ್ಮ ಮಾಧ್ಯಮೆಯವರ ಇಟ್ಟು ಕರಮಿನ್ ಪಾವತಿನ ಫೋಸ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ದಿ ಅಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಯುನಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕಲಾಂಬೋ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ the members of the fos media have the opportunity to gain experience through various fields including photography videography announcing event hosting graphic designing and live streaming sm kolama vishwavidyalaya tulapavat pramukatam utsava siyalla tempahe nila madhya anugrahaya sapeyime avasthava himwanne fos media wetatama pamanai udaharanayak washen vishwavidyalaya pramukatam utsava avasthava wana ಉಪಾಧಿ ಪ್ರಧಾನೋತ್ಸವ ನಿಲ ಸಚಿವಿ ವಿಕಾಶ ಲಾಭಾದೇನೆಯಾಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಸರಸವಿ ಮತಕ ಎಕೆನ್ನಕ ಎಕತು ಕರನ್ನಕ ಸಹೋದರತ್ವೇ ಸಂದರು ಬವ ಅತ್ತಿಲಿನಕ ಮೇ ಹೊಂದಮ ತನಾಯ್ ಸತಕ ಮಿತ್ರಕಮ ಆದರಣೀಯ ಸಹೋದರತ್ವಯ ಪಿರುನು ಹೊಸ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಅಪಿ ಶಕ್ತಿಮತ್ ಪೌರ ಆದರಣೀಯ ಪೌಲ ಇತಿನ್ ನವ ಕೋಬಟತ್ ಹೊಸ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಅಪಿ ಅಪಿ ಶಕ್ತಿಮತ್ ಪೌಲ ಸಮಗ ಎಕತು ವಿಮಟ ಆರಾಧನಾ So he is a warm welcome to join hands with Fox Media to extend our family and to strengthen our bond.
ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಕೊಳಮ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾಪೀಠೆಯೇ ನಿಲಮಾದ್ಯ ಏಕಕಯ ದೆದಾಸ್ ದೊಲಹವಸರೆ ಸಿಎಂ ಉಳ್ಳಾರಾಂಬೆ ಸಣ್ಣಿಟು ಹಣಕರಣ ಫಸ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಎದಾ ಮೆದಾತುರ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ತುಲಮ ಪ್ರಮುಖ ತಮ್ಮ ಮಾಧ್ಯ ಏಕಕಯ ವೆಮಿ ಮೇವನ ವಿಟ ತಮ್ಮ ಮಾಧ್ಯಮ ಹೆವರ ಇಟ್ಟು ಕರಮಿನ್ ಪಾವತಿನ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ದಿ ಅಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕಲಾಂಬೋ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ The members of the FOSS media have the opportunity to gain experience through various fields including photography, videography, announcing, event hosting, graphic designing and live streaming. SM Kolamba Vishwavidyalaya Tula Bhavat Pramukatam Utsava Siyalla Tempa hai Nila Madhya Anugraha Sapai me avastha vahim vanne FOSS media vetha tama pamanai. Udaharana question Vishwavidyalaya Pramukatam Utsava avastha vana ಉಪಾಧಿ ಪ್ರಧಾನೋತ್ಸವೇ ನಿಲ ಸಚಿವಿ ವಿಕಾಶ ಶ್ರೀಲಂಕಾವೇ ಪ್ರಮುಖತಮ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಪಾವತಿನ ಶ್ರೀಲಂಕಾವೇ ವಿಶಿಷ್ಟತಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾಪೀಠವನ ಕೊಲಂಬ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾಪೀಠೇ ದಿದಹಾಸ್ ವಿಸಿ ದೆಕ್ಕ ದಿದಹಾಸ್ ವಿಸಿ ತುನ ಅಧ್ಯಯನ ವರ್ಷ ಸಂದಹಾವನ ನಾಮಿ ಕರ್ಣ ವ್ಯಾಸ್ಟಹಾನೆ ಅದ ದಿನ ದೇವನಿ ಅರ್ಧೆ ಅಪಮೆಸೆ ಆರಂಭ ಕರಮು ಮೇಮ ಸಸಿ ವಾರೇದಿ ಅಪಯಂವಾನ್ನೆ ಶಾಖ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ದಿನಾಂಶೇ ಸಹ ನ್ಯಾಷ್ಟಕ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ದೆಪಾರ್ಥಮೆಂತು ವೆತಟಾಯಿ ದಹಮಿ Welcome again ladies and gentlemen to the highly anticipated second day of the orientation program organized by the prestigious Faculty of Science at the esteemed University of Colombo. This evening we had the honor of hosting two remarkable departments of plant sciences and nuclear sciences. As we commence the evening session of this enlightening orientation program, I invite you to be tuned with the live broadcast brought to you by the FOSS Media, the official media unit of the Faculty of Science, University of Colombo. Palamu Apa Sudhanam Vanne, Vidya Pete Shak Vidya Adhinanshe Obeta Handunva Dimatai. Esandha Ma Itamad Gauru Venutuara Adhina Kar Sitnava, Shak Vidya Adhinanshe Pradhani Mahacharya HS Katri Arachimethiniyani Obeta Meta. Now, with utmost reverence and respect, I invite Professor H.S. Khatri Arachi, Head of Department of Plant Sciences, to address. Good afternoon to all of you. I warmly welcome you to the Department of Plant Sciences, Faculty of Science, University of Colombo, for the new, uh, new intake students. So in my presentation, I will very briefly uh, outline and summarize the degree programs, our academic staff members, and other programs, and our societies we are having in the Department of Plant Sciences, University of Colombo. So you can see uh, in the presentation, uh, so this is the building of our department. So you will see when you come to the university in the, on the 29th. So we are very proud. So we are starting with the history. We are proud to be have several eminent botanists and some leading professors in that field of science, like the first head and also Professor Nigel Ball is the first professor of botany, also uh, from our department. And we started our honors degree classes way back in 1925 to 26 period. And Professor B.L.T. De Silva, so is one of the very first honors uh, degree, uh, one of other produ product from our department of botany those days. We have changed the name uh, recently to the plant sciences. So those days, 
the department referred to as Department of Botany, Faculty of Science, University of Colombo. And yes, again, some of the eminent uh, scientists or botanists in Sri Lanka and also some are well recognized, especially Professor Nigel Ball, uh, recognized as the first professor in botany, and Professor B.L.T. De Silva is a graduate from our own department, and Professor B.A. Abbe Vikrama is a very uh, locally and internationally recognized botanist for uh, plant identification and uh, especially with Sri Lankan flora. And uh, also we have produced, within our department staff, we have produced several, I mean, uh, leading positions who, who hold the administrative positions within the faculty as well as uh, in the University of Colombo, like Professor, uh, late Professor Kanti Abbe Nayaka, also late Professor RLC Vijay Sundara, both of them were the head of the department as well as served as the dean of the Faculty of Science. And also today here with us, Professor Hirimure Gama, she was a former vice chancellor, University of Colombo, and Pro Dr. Hirimure Gama, also from our department, and also served as a former vice chancellor of the University of Colombo. Then I will move into uh, the degree programs we are offering to you. So mainly, first, BSc Honours Degree Program. They are research-oriented degree program. I will not go into very detail because some of our, in later sessions, our own graduate, own undergraduates, as well as uh, uh, some other videos, will summarize the real uh, experiences you will get if you are following these degree programs. So mainly four-year honors degree programs, research-oriented. We have uh, research uh, degree program in plant sciences, then plant biotechnology and bioinformatics. Among these, this bioinformatics program is only, I think, the one and only undergraduate bioinformatics degree program in, uh, among all the science faculties in Sri Lanka. So very important for you as the newcomers, because our academic advice will address you for certain honors degree programs, you have to select uh, your courses in your level one, that means first year, and also when you come to the second year, certain courses you have to select if you want to do, especially the bioinformatics program, and Dr. Saputantri will address them. And plant sciences and plant biotechnology, as well as plant, sorry, bioinformatics are the four-year honors degree research degree programs we are offering to you. Then very recently we introduced, uh, this is a BSc honors degree program, but industry-oriented, horticulture and sustainable landscaping. So about that also we have produced a video and you can uh, watch it during the session. Yes, so we are very proud in our department. We have a very updated curriculum and you have no problems if you are going for higher studies as well as for masters and also if you want to uh, directly go into the uh, private sector as well as government sector job opportunities. We have a very updated curriculum suited for all the catering for all these fields. And we have very diverse teaching and learning uh, activities as well as uh, assessment procedures, very transparent and also diverse. I will take you, uh, show you some of these. And also we are supportive of our all academic staff members and temporary staff members also very supportive uh, to do you, uh, for you to perform uh, in other extracurricular activities within the university and also outside the university. And we have a very caring and understanding uh, 
academic staff and also non-academic staff as well as temporary staff. Uh, you will meet them when you uh, start your uh, f uh, degree program in, from 29th, next Monday. Yes, these are some of the teaching and learning activities. We have lectures, laboratory classes, and field sessions. And uh, for the evaluation procedures or the assessment procedures, you have to write reports, or you have to do presentations and assignments. And uh, when you come to your third and fourth years, you have to do internships. And also in the research degree programs, we have collaborative research with industry, sometimes in other higher education and other universities, as well as some private sector institutes. And we, have, we are offering an industrial training in the fourth year of the industry-oriented honors degree program. Yes, some of the photos you can see, some of the field, act, field trips as well as laboratory sessions. And we have sometimes the assessment process assessments also in the field. And also these are some of the facilities we are having. So this is the first year laboratory. You will start your uh, practicals from next week. And uh, we have a good computer facility, specially uh, equipped with several I mean several uh, high performing computers also to offer the bioinformatics special degree. And the other photos, uh, photo is about our uh, plant house. And we are very, uh, we have a unique thing in our department that is our university herbarium. So there are more than maybe 3,000 plant uh, specimens are deposited. Like you will get to know them in your first year also. So that is a unique facility we have within our department. So herbarium is like the uh, pressed plant material, preserved plant material deposited in a, classified in a uh, scientific manner. So I will introduce our staff members. So I am the head of the department, uh, Hashendra Kriyarachi, and you will meet some of them during your first year lectures, even in the first semester. So Dr. Saputantri, Pradipika Saputantri is our academic advisor within the department, and she will address you. And Dr. Thilini, uh, Thilini Pereira and Dr. Pasan Fernando are the temporary student counselors from our department. Because they are important to know, because if you have some issues and problems, you can always come and discuss with them and report them. And we have a permanent student counselor. So these are Dr. Thilini and Dr. Passan are temporary students counselors from our department. And also Professor Hirimure Gama. These are some senior academic staff members, Pro senior professor uh, Hirimure Gama, senior professor Tara Di Silva, senior professor Thiriman, Professor Sudhira Ranwala, Professor Chandrika Nanayakkara, Professor Darshani Bandupriya, then Dr. Iroja Kaldera, Dr. Samira Aryavansha, Dr. Anushka Vikramasurya, Dr. Chinendra Disanayaka, Dr. Ruani Maya Kaduas, Dr. Surani Edirivira, Ms. Amaya Satru Singh and Ms. Sihini uh, Vaidhiratna. They are two professional lecturers in our department. Some of these staff members will meet you during the first semester, some in the second semester, and some are teaching you in the second year. Yes, these uh, are the lab or technical staff we have. I mean, the behind the screen, especially to arranging the practical sessions and the field trips, they will help us. And we have a, a good team of temporary demonstrators so we'll support you during the uh, practical sessions, you know, uh, especially the, what, with the botany practicals. So now I will move into the major subject areas or the subject disciplines we are highlighting during our degree program. Yes, so plant physiology, several senior staff members are, 
are teaching you or doing engage in research in plant physiology and pl plant molecular biology. Uh, again, we have uh, facilities to do certain experiments and other things in molecular biology and also plant, uh, sorry, biochemistry. So plant cell tissue culture is again a unique thing we have and our department is well known for that. Uh, we have uh, facilities to conduct uh, plant cell tissue culture, especially the practicals as well as research. And several senior staff members are involved and expert in these fields. Then come to the genetics and plant breeding is very important again. Uh, Professor Tara and Dr. Ruani Maya Kadua is uh, really uh, expert in those fields. And microbiology and plant pathology also we have a very good group uh, with uh, Professor Chandrika Nanayakkara and following Dr. Samira, Dr. Tilini, Dr. Surani. They all are engaged in uh, microbiology and plant pathology and related research and teaching programs. Then bioinformatics. So that is another very important, I mean the strong field offering to you when you come to your third year. So after second year, you will be selecting your special degrees or the industry-oriented degrees, research-oriented or industry-oriented degrees. So in the field of bioinformatics, we have a very good expert staff members are really contributing for bioinformatic research and teaching in your third and fourth years. So horticulture is another field we are, I mean, we engage in research and teaching. Professor Darshani Bandupri, then Dr. Thilini and Dr. Ruani is again engaged in teaching and research in horticulture and the related uh, subject discipline. Then ecology and biodiversity, Professor Sudhira Ranwale and Dr. Jinendra is mainly uh, excelled in that area and also systematics and phylogenetics I am teaching and I am doing some research with students and environment and environment, environment modeling, environment science and related subject discipline, Dr. Iroja Kaldera, again Dr. Jinendra will uh, come and teach you and discuss your research ideas, especially those certain subject disciplines you will uh, come across when you are come to the, when you are in your third year if you are following the research oriented degree program or the industry oriented de degree program offered by the Department of Plant Sciences. Yes, so we are very proud and uh, we are very happy about our graduates already, I mean the passed out graduates, especially the industry orient, uh, research oriented degree program. Uh, we produce a lot of graduates, they directly absorb by the leading uh, higher educational institutes in United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia and other countries. Because that is a four year research oriented degree program, they can, without any problem, they can go and uh, continue their higher studies. For that, we are having very good uh, research. We are providing good research and improving their writing skills. So you will mature during that, especially the last two years in your degree program. And as well as locally also, we are producing for local like scientific service, Sri Lanka scientific service, Sri Lanka administrative service, and also some go for teaching as graduate teachers and management and man management trainees, and also some of the special degree students, research oriented special degree students can directly join the, as the research scientists in private and uh, government institutes. Yes, so these are the career opportunities, especially if you following a research oriented degree program and also the industry oriented four year honors degree programs. 
So yes, as I told you, we, you can be a easily an academic if you are expert in, especially if you do your higher studies well, that means masters or PhDs. Uh, then research scientists, also these all are, most of them are open for you. You can have a, your choice. So it's not a must, you have to be like this. So you are the, these are the, like a career pathways. Then also some of the students, they like to have their own business, entrepreneurs. So you, we have really providing, especially the, that means uh, the four year industry oriented research de degree, uh, will provide opportunity for you to think and start your own business, especially in the landscaping or agriculture, horticulture in that field. The other government sectors, you can go into Sri Lanka Administrative Service, Sri Lanka Scientific Service, Sri Lanka Customs, and other uh, government institutes. Yes, so especially if you want to do a higher studies, it's, we recommend you to do a research-oriented special degree offered by the Department of Plant Sciences in the Faculty of Science, University of Colombo, because we have very up-to-date curriculum with all the necessary undergraduate uh, degree programs nicely line up to exactly you can start your PhD and other degree programs in any of the recognized good universities. So we, this is the Botanical Society, we call it BOTSOC. So that is the official society in the Department of Plant Sciences, University of Colombo. So we are conducting a lot of activities, outreach programs, as well as uh, trips, annual trips, and other uh, like uh, uh, charity programs uh, through the botanical societies. I invite you to join with the BOTSOC and actively you can engage uh, in those programs. That will give you a very good opportunity to uh, work in a team and work with your senior colleagues and uh, do some charity and outreach programs. That means we are sometimes conducting programs with uh, maybe non-government agencies, government agencies, as well as schools and uh, many other uh, institutes. So these are some activities we have done through the BOTSOC, some of the outreach programs conducted from, uh, with the schools, as well as uh, uh, maybe like uh, cleaning the Beire Lake and some environmental related activities, reforestation activities, and some of the photos are from our BOTSOC trip. So it's fun as well as you get very memorable and also important lifetime experiences. So discipline is very important, not within our department as, as a student inside the faculty. So you have to be very uh, punctual for your practical classes. If you are starting at uh, nine, exactly you should be at least five minutes or two minutes, three minutes before nine o'clock. And lectures, we are conducting this semester fully on-site lectures. All the botany lectures will be on-site, uh, not online. So practicals and lectures for you, especially, all are on-site. So be very punctual for the lectures and practicals. And try to be always uh, present for the practicals and lectures. That will really, we have a lot of experience that will really reflect your uh, results at the end semester examinations. It's very, very important for you to uh, come and listen for the lectures because in the university, because you are just coming, it's not like your A-levels. It's a very transparent procedure because we are doing conducting the lectures by the lecturer. We are setting the examination papers and we are marking your, your answer scripts. So it's very easy if you come and listen to the lectures and follow the practicals as well as lectures directly, you will gain what we really expect from you. 
that is very very important and also uh, yes uh, then we have some rules for your safety as well as uh, for the safety of the laboratory and other things instruments and we have some rules and regulations specially work in the laboratories so you have to stick into these laboratory rules and also yes respect the staff members as well as non academic staff members your demonstrators that means temporary staff members uh, you have to respect them and you have to respect your colleagues and your seniors and that is also you have to learn and you have to sometimes share your resources you know we don't have as a free education system we don't have much resources and as students also you should learn to share your ideas as well as as well as your resources among your colleagues and help them and uh, try to get through the exams and everything so then it's very nice so you get an enormous opportunity to help each other especially in the group activities doing team uh, presentations and other things to interact with your colleagues and then all of that will produce you as a responsible person we expect that from you at the end of your uh, i mean the graduate after your graduating be a responsible person for the country as well as for your family and for everything so this is a, a nice photo of we call like the plant science family so this photo we taken in the last aurudu uh, utsave we held in, within the department so again as first year newcomers i warmly welcome you to the faculty especially the department of plant sciences in the faculty so we will biological all biological students you have to follow several courses with us during your first for starting from the first semester so uh, i wish you good luck for and you will in, i hope you will enjoy and a memorable uh, learning experience you will have during the next 4 years so following that there are some videos and we have several other activities line up for today's session thank you the department of plant sciences of the university of colombo is a well established unit in the faculty of science it enjoys a reputation of maintaining high academic standards in the specific discipline it is considered to be the oldest department in the most prestigious university in sri lanka the department offers three special degree programs and one four year general degree program with diverse course modules the three special degree programs plant science plant biotechnology and bioinformatics have been conducted for more than 13 years by the department it has been providing opportunities for students to engage in higher studies and jobs in local as well as in overseas institutes and agencies plant science is the study of plant growth reproduction plant and environment interactions evolution adaptation as well as the commercial use of plants for various aspects such as food fiber and ornamental purposes students specializing in plant sciences have the chance to enhance their skills by being opened up into a variety of courses it allows research opportunities having a great diversity in individual interests and career paths apart from the common enthusiasm for plants getting selected to do a special degree in plant sciences was the best thing that happened to me during my uh, university life actually i am an mb direct intake student but uh, when i was studying in my first and second years i understood that i am a student who loves to be with nature so uh, that drove me to select this special 
for all of you, I would like to say, though the special says it's plant sciences, it's not merely studying about plants. I have gained a lot of soft skills, skills how to deal with the society, many other skills which are very important when uh, dealing with the job market. I can say that our degree is a balanced degree. It teaches you the science, plus it gives you many soft skills to win over your future. And uh, the opportunities are great to enjoy outdoors, field visits. And I would especially like to say that academic and the non-academic staff, we are a small family, so uh, there's this bond that no one can explain and which is special to our department only. So I'll invite you all to do well in your first and second years and people who love nature like me. There are endless possibilities for you with our special degree plant sciences. Plant biotechnology provides an excellent knowledge on using plants for specific purposes by crossbreeding, genetic transformations and other technological aspects as well as mass propagation. Some plant biotechnologies are used for the purpose of creating reliable and sustainable food sources for populations around the world while other technologies use plants for scientific and medical research to make crops resistant to drought, diseases and other maladies. Uh, I'm a fourth year undergraduate following plant biotechnology special degree. Uh, I'm very happy to be here as a member of the Department of Plant Sciences because I gain a lot of uh, things from this department. It's not only academics you get from here, but it's very important and it's very worthy to get a lovely environment filled with a set of friends and also friendly uh, staff members, especially with very kind, helpful, supportive set of lecturers actually really happy to be here. When I talk about my uh, special degree, I was able to study uh, different areas under this uh, special degree like uh, plant molecular biology, microbiology, horticulture, tissue culture and things like that. They are really interesting and uh, very important in the future studies and in present as well. I like to uh, invite you all come and join with us here in the Department of Plant Sciences. Be a part of us and enjoy your academics here. Bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary field that combines computer science, statistics, mathematics and engineering to develop methods and software tools to understand, analyze and interpret biological data. Bioinformatics have been used in silico analysis of biological queries using mathematical and statistical techniques and it is an upcoming field in biology. Being a fourth year student at Department of Plant Sciences, it gives me great privilege to say something about this department. I would say that Department of Plant Sciences is the most friendliest department you could ever come across when you are a science faculty undergraduate. Especially, I am a bioinformatics special degree student, which is kind of a new subject that, that is been emerging in the country. And I'm proud to say that University of Colombo Department of Plant Science is the one and only place that offers this special degree. So why did I select bioinformatics special degree was an interesting choice of question. When I was looking through for the special degrees, this did occur to me the most as the interesting and interacting special degree, I would say. It's not really related to and confined to plant biology, yet you have different fields since it's an interdisciplinary course. You get to know about your statistics, you get to know about your software engineering related facts, you get to know about your zoology and it's kind of a centerpiece of biology. So I would say like studying bioinformatics gave me way to understand all the disciplines or majority of the disciplines I came across. Getting to know the people in this department and it actually helps you to understand the different fields in you. You have a lot of in events where you can interact with everyone in the department and also there are a lot of events that will help you to develop the skills you have, your aesthetic skills, your presentation skills and uh, it also gives you a touch of discipline into doing everything right 
in the right time and in the right way. When you do the special degree, you are supposed to do a research project which changes your ideology for life. In my case, I had a very good research project which gave me more scope to deal with this department. Starting from the academic supervisor, the non-academic staff, all the lecturers, everyone in this department are so supportive and always directing you to get what you want to do that well in a disciplined way. So in synopsis I would say Department of Plant Sciences is basically a friendly and a disciplined department and coming to bioinformatics it's a field you will not have heard a lot but it is a very potential and new emerging field where a lot of work has been done to analyze all the loads of data we have been generating with bioinformatics you have a new look you have a new way to find out new things in your field students have been able to develop knowledge and soft skills such as leadership, creativity, teamwork, application of knowledge in real life situations by following these programs and develop their born talents in aspects of plant sciences. Therefore, government employment sector including the National Plant Quarantine Services, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Wildlife Departments, Central Environment Authority, Botanical Gardens have provided many opportunities for students graduating from our department, especially for students who followed the special degree in plant science. Many government research institutes and private agencies such as GeneTech also provide such opportunities for those who followed plant biotechnology. Graduates in bioinformatics also have numerous job opportunities in Sri Lanka as well as in overseas. Teaching and research in the department is amply supported by the field visits for the students of first year to fourth year under various course modules. Group work presentations are part of the exercises for those undergraduates. Industrial training is provided for fourth year students following four-year general degree and special degree program of the department. The department consists of well-equipped laboratories, audiovisual facilities, plant houses and a herbarium. It provides the utmost effort and facilities for students to pursue their interest in the field of plant sciences. Apart from academics, the department is highly interactive in organizing various events throughout the year such as talent shows, third year special students welcome, the annual botanical society trip, community outreach programs in helping schools, school libraries and many more. This has strengthened the bond between the students, academic and non-academic staff which has made the department of plant sciences a very friendly department, the high academic standard in the Faculty of Science. Bohmat Mustoti Matinini Mema Vedasrahana Atharatura, Obatayam Gatalwak Vetot, Apage YouTube Sajiva Vikashi Osila Badi, I think Google Patrikawa, Eva, Upper Vetom Kirimata, Obatawa Savati Bino. Excited to introduce you to its latest to submit your queries and questions. You may use the Google form pinned in the live chat or provided in the description the box of the official FOSS Media YouTube page. Now we shall move on to the video curated introducing the industry oriented degree program offered by the Department of Plant Sciences. The Department of Plant Sciences is excited to introduce you to its latest industry oriented honors degree program, Horticulture and Sustainable Landscaping. The world population is increasing exponentially, putting an enormous pressure on resources including land, fresh water and food. On top of this, global warming, other natural hazards and urbanization has reduced the lands available for cultivation of crops. Thus, there is a need for efficient crop production on the remaining land while maintaining health of our soil, air, water and the well-being of the world's citizens. 
Hence, there is a higher demand for qualified human resources in the field of horticulture and landscaping who can fulfill these requirements. Therefore, this degree program can be considered as a timely effort by the department in generating skilled individuals who knows how to make maximum use of the land sustainably without harming the environment. Simply put, sustainability is a social goal about the ability of people to coexist on earth over a long period of time. Sustainable landscaping makes use of the environment while preserving limited resources, reducing waste and preventing environmental pollution. In this program, you will be introduced to sustainable methods of plant cultivation for food, medicine and recreational purposes. This program will open you up to theoretical and practical knowledge on plant tissue culture, plant breeding, biotechnology, landscaping, greenhouse cultivation, hydroponic and aquaponic cultivation, smart horticulture and the use of Internet of Things in urban gardening. Also, pest and plant disease management, soil management, plant propagation, post-harvest technology and course units on intellectual property rights, environment and biodiversity related legislation, disaster risk management are also included in the curriculum. As I explained, while this degree program will equip you with all necessary scientific knowledge, this program will also provide you course units to develop your skills that are required to start your own business or to go work in the industry. Entrepreneurship, business accounting, law, taxation and human resource management will add more value to the predominantly biology-based background. Continuous assignments and mini-projects lay the platform for the students to improve their soft skills such as communication, time management, negotiation and teamwork. These will help the students following this industry-oriented degree program to be better prepared for practicing what they learn in actual industrial environments. In your final year, you will get the opportunity to get self-trained as an intern in an industry of your choice. You will also get the opportunity to do research and find out a solution for an actual problem in the industry. Therefore, if you either want to start your own plant-related business or work in industry in Sri Lanka or elsewhere in the world, the Department of Plant Sciences invites you to join our industry-oriented honours degree program, Horticulture and Sustainable Landscaping. Thank you and wish you all the best. Oba tenata ma danna paridi mema masa visi nama vena sandudadina. Oba kolaba vishavidyalita pemine medi ragina ayutu lipi lekri kipe ak zipat kiri matai mama dan sarasene. Shisha prakasha hevat student declaration form. Upena sahatike usas pila sama ni pila pratipala sahatika ha. जातक हेन्दुनुम पते सत्य आई सहायक करने लादे पीटपात ऐतलत वी में हाल लिया पादिंची गास्तु गेव पावटे बैंको तेन पतुरिसित पते पासपोर्ट प्रमाणे वर्ण शायरूप तुनक उप्पन न सहायके नमे ही वेनसाक ऐतनम ए बाव सहायक करने देवरुम प्रकाशयक नवतत इमली पीले कना शिष्य प्रकाशय हेवत स्टूडेंट डिक्लेरेशन फॉर्म उपन्न सहातिके अपोसे सामान्य पहले प्रतिपाल सहातिके अपोसे उसास पहले प्रतिपाल सहातिके हाँ जातक हेन्दुनुम पते सहातिक करने लादे पीटपात ऐतलत वे में हाँ लिया पादिंची गास तो गेव हु बावटे बैंको तेन पत्रिसित पते पासपोर्ट प्रमाणे वर्ण चायारूप तुनक उपन्न सहातिके नमे ही वेनसाक ऐतनम ए बाव सहातिक विषय नाम है विनिस संदूदा दिन है कॉलेज विषय विद्यालय के पहली में दी रैगिन आयु तो ही एवं गेम में संबंध देनुं दी मार और बगे विषय विद्यालय विद्युत है पहले तक में भी में वन विटा यम कर रहती बे। We have a special announcement. University activities will be initiated physically on Monday, the 29th of May. Thus, there are a few documents that must be compulsorily brought with you on the said date. They are as follows. Student declaration form, certified true copies of birth certificate, GCE A level certificate, GCE O level certificate, national identity card, 
pain in slip paid for the admission and registration fee, three copies of the colored passport sized photos, a fit of it if there are any changes with the name other than said in the birth certificate. And I shall repeat the documents again. They are as follows. Student declaration form, certified true copies of birth certificate, GCE A-level certificate, GCE O-level certificate, national identity card, pain in slip paid for the admission and registration fee, three copies of the colored passport sized photos, affidavit if there are any changes in the name other than that in the birth certificate. Moreover, an email has been sent to your respective university email address regarding these documents, which must be compulsorily brought on Monday, the 29th of May. I am going to talk to you about the Gauravini to Aradhana Khanna. Shaka Vidya Adhinanshe Adhinu Upadeshika Jeshta Khatika Acharya Acharya Pradipika Saputantri Mahatmeta. Now let us welcome the academic advisor of the Department of Plant Sciences, Senior Lecturer Dr. Pradipika Saputantri to grace this occasion. Um, good afternoon to all of you, those who are listening and watching. Um, I'm uh, Pradipika Saputantri, uh, currently the advisor to you all uh, from our department, Department of Plant Sciences. Uh, my job here is to uh, give you some advice on, um, not actual advice, to introduce you to the uh, academic courses and programs uh, offered by our department. Um, Although I'm going to introduce these very briefly today, uh, you all have your handbook. Um, this is your handbook, and this is very important. That's why the big red star. Uh, it's so important that you need to keep this handbook with you all throughout your uh, student life, uh, whether it is three years or four years. All the guidelines, um, the courses offered for your uh, batch, um, and the rules and regulations, everything uh, are given in this book. And what I'm about to tell you, uh, the course modules and the programs offered by the department, um, more details, all the details are, uh, you can find those in the handbook. And um, uh, by now, uh, with our uh, head's uh, talk, Professor Hashendra's talk and the um, two videos that you have already seen. You have uh, seen a glimpse of uh, what the Department of Plant Science offer to you all. Um, it's not just botany. That's why we diversified some 20 years ago, or more than 20 years ago, we diversified into um, plant sciences. And um, this is the department that offers you botany, plant means uh, about plants, you learn about plants, uh, microbiology, biotechnology, bioinformatics, and many more, right? So it's, uh, uh, we offer a diverse range of subjects uh, from our department. Um, you are familiar with the degree structure of the faculty, so you know uh, there's a three-year general degree, uh, we call it a uh, Bachelor of Science degree, and we have um, four-year uh, degrees, which we uh, refer as um, BSc honors degrees. And um, uh, level one and two, that is your first year and second year, um, we teach you or you learn the very fundamental um, subjects, which are very important um, to develop your basic uh, knowledge. Uh, common uh, and these modules are common for both your uh, both the streams biological science and uh, molecular biology uh, stream so therefore both groups uh, come for uh, common lectures in level one and two um, after level two uh, either you can choose to do a three-year degree bsc degree or if you are eligible if you want to do if you prefer to do you can do a four-year honors degree. And you know the four-year honors degrees can be either industry-oriented honors degrees 
or research-oriented honors degrees. Um, Just, you are familiar with these terms now, I think, with the, um, the undergraduate director, uh, Dr. Dilhari's talk, and you have listened to various other departments talking about this. Um, uh, basically, I want to tell you about um, this. Um, you know, a course unit has a credit value. A course unit has a credit value. A credit um, is a sort of a time-based quantity, and uh, uh, it is depending on the duration and the type of the course. Uh, it can be either lectures or practicals or both. So one credit course, you know, uh, can include either 15 uh, lecture hours or it can be 30 practical hours or a proportionate combination of lectures or practicals. For sometimes, you will be getting a module for five lecture hours plus 20 practical hours, which is one credit, right? So likewise, uh, it can be a combination. Um, there's another term that you will come across. Um, now, one credit, if it is 15, so if I'm teaching you all a 15 lecture, uh, one credit course module, I will be conducting 15 lecture hours, right? So uh, you'll have to come and listen to uh, 15 lecture hours, or you have to come to the practical class uh, to cover 30 hours. In addition to that, roughly, for a one credit course, you need to spend about, um, including those direct learning hours, you need to spend about 50 hours uh, total. For example, uh, in addition to those 15 lecture hours that you listen to lectures, you will have to say, spend some time on um, uh, completing assignments, getting uh, reading materials, reading um, uh, publications, right? So total uh, one credit may be uh, is roughly equivalent to 50 hours of learning, including the direct learning plus other activities rele relevant for that particular module, right? So I'm mentioning this because you will be seeing this, uh, the term notional hours um, uh, when you see the lesson plan uh, where, when we give you uh, the various, the breakdown of activities for a particular module, right? And uh, then the course units, you know there are academic and enhancement course units. Um, uh, academic courses, there are compulsory courses, core courses, and elective courses. So the definitions are all given in the handbook. Compulsory course means that uh, it's a, uh, it gives you the essential knowledge uh, and skills for a particular subject stream or a combination. For example, uh, think of statistics or biostatistics, um, which is essential for both the molecular biology stream as well as biology stream. So we uh, define it as a compulsory course. Then there are core courses, um, which are basic and essential uh, knowledge uh, and skills for a particular subject. For example, if you want to uh, do biotechnology or plant biotechnology, uh, you need to have, have the knowledge offered by these core courses, right? So uh, uh, that is for a, uh, important for a particular subject, right? So elective courses are things that you, uh, these are optional, you can, uh, based on the, uh, the availability and your, um, uh, the total credit that you are taking, uh, you can take these elective courses, which gives uh, a broader knowledge of the subject. Right, so uh, based on these um, uh, credit values, uh, for a particular year, you can take um, 32, 33 um, academic credits, right? So the course modules worth of uh, minimum 30 or maximum 33 academic credits. But you have to remember uh, the final GPA, that is a final grade point average, which will determine uh, your, whether you are just a simple pass, whether you are getting a first class, uh, upper or a uh, second lower class, will be determined by considering all the academic credits, right? So if you are taking uh, 33, the maximum number of academic credits per year, so you have to be careful 
uh, because uh, in calculating GPA, uh, 30, all the 33 academic uh, the credits will be considered. Then uh, another important point, you already know this, if you want to move to the second year, like uh, after completing second year, well, first year, if you want to move to the uh, second level, you need to have passed, that means you need to have obtained C grades or more uh, for uh, 15 or more academic credits, right? So you need to have C grade, C grade uh, grades or passes um, or better grades for a minimum of 15 academic credits per year, right? So uh, if you don't have that 15 academic credit passes, then uh, it'll be difficult for you to uh, move to the next level. Another important point is um, completion of a course. Right. So, uh, you have to participate in and complete all the assessment procedures for each course which you have registered and you must obtain a final grade for it to be considered that module as complete. Right. So, if you are absent for an exam, you have not completed that course, right? If you have not done part of the assessment evaluation uh, uh, criteria, that means again you have not completed that course, right? So it's so important that you have to understand uh, what is a completion of a course, right? So these uh, uh, about the enhancement course requirement, all these are given in the handbook, right? So I will move on to. Uh, the courses offered by the uh, Department of Plant Sciences. Um, the courses offered by us are uh, indicated with the two letters BT, right? So in your uh, handbook page six, you can see uh, the courses offered by Plant Sciences. Um, the abbreviation uh, is a BT, right? And this is uh, uh, page 121 of your uh, handbook, you can see. I have just uh, highlighted um, the courses offered by us in the first and second semesters. Um, also, it's very important that you read the, the small print at the uh, bottom of the, uh, the page, right? So you, you have to see that, right? So I have a bigger um, uh, slide showing, right? So uh, this one, right, so these are the same uh, extract from the same page, right, so you know uh, we are offering a f a second year, uh, sorry, first semester and second semester, uh, we are offering a certain number of co-credits, um, uh, it's uh, total for the academic year is seven in the first uh, level one, and uh, uh, some of the course modules are uh, elective, right? So you know, uh, you should be able to know these, the, the legend by now. And some courses have uh, field uh, work, field work component, which is indicated in this last column, right? And also, this, the, this is a small print. Um, if you are thinking of following or enrolling for the bioinformatics uh, special degree after, the, uh, after level two, you must have taken CS1101 and CS1102 and also you need to have a pass for AM1108, right? So this is, um, you have to remember this, right? Otherwise, if you have not done these courses, you will not be eligible to uh, apply for bioinformatics special degree course, right? I'm telling you all because you have to register for these courses, uh, the first level one courses. Please remember, if you are willing to um, do bioinformatics in the future in, from your third year, you have to remember these points. Right, so then uh, uh, level two courses. Again, uh, in the level two, um, 
here also, if you are willing to do uh, bioinformatics in the future, you need to have done CS 2001, right? CS 2001. That is, uh, so you can't forget that if you have not done this, you will not be uh, eligible to follow the bioinformatics course. Right, so uh, then the um, level three BSc, three year degree, uh, we offer a combination of uh, courses. Uh, these are mostly applied um, uh, subjects, uh, applied um, uh, course modules like plant pathology, uh, horticulture, tissue culture technology, uh, where you can um, uh, learn from our department. Right, so then after, uh, so if you are not doing a, a three-year degree, you will be doing a four-year degree, uh, honors degree, uh, industry-oriented or um, research-oriented. And we have, uh, we are offering one industry-oriented uh, honors degree, BSc honors degree, which is horticulture and uh, sustainable landscaping. So at the end of the second year, you need to have an overall GP of 2.5 to be eligible to do uh, this uh, honors degree program. Right? So you have seen the video, so uh, no more details from me. Um, then the three uh, research-oriented BSc honors degree programs. Right? So these uh, the criteria to be eligible um, is already given in the handbook, right? So for biotechnology, plant biotechnology, we take 15 students based on these eligibility criteria. So this is at the end of the level two, you need to have, a, have an overall GP of three for BT core course units. And uh, for the uh, honors degree in plant sciences, student intake is eight. Again, uh, similar to the eligibility criteria is similar to uh, plant biotechnology. Um, for bioinformatics, uh, there are additional criteria that you need to fulfill. Um, you need to have uh, BT Co uh, GPA 3, plus you need to have a combined GP of 3 for the CES units that I mentioned earlier that you, uh, you have to follow in the level 1 and level 2, and you need to pass the first year AM1108 module, right? So uh, the criteria for bioinformatics uh, special selection is um, uh, slightly different. So um, all these course modules uh, you can see in the handbook, so I will not go into details. Um, to end up, uh, wind up my talk, um, I would like to uh, give you some points to remember uh, your final achievement, whether you get a simple pass, class, or fail, or whether you get a first class, all depend on the overall GPA of all the three or four years that you follow. So therefore, uh, some students don't do well in first and second years, but they do very well in the final year. Um, however, unfortunately, because you have not done well in the first and second years, you may not be able to get a first class, right? So just a few uh, decimal points uh, of the overall GPA lacking will lose your uh, class, right? So therefore, do well in all four years. That's the, the most important message that I have to give you. And also you have to remember there is no limit to the uh, number of first classes offered. So if you get a three point, uh, your overall GPA at the end is more than 3.7, um, 3.7 or more, you can get a first class, right? So all of you, if you have uh, passed that uh, level, you can get a first class, right? So uh, therefore, learn, you have to learn, you have to work hard, but at the same time, the faculty, you at the faculty, you can relax and enjoy. Right? So thank you and best wishes. Nevertheless, if at Kiri Mak Karanava, Obate am Gatelu Ak Pavati Nevana, Mapa Sajivi Vikashyo Ossela Badiyati, Google Patrika Vaharha, Eva Apavete Umkal Heki Bava. To submit your queries and questions, you may use the Google form pinned in the live chat, 
or provided in the description box with the official FOSS Media YouTube page. Milangata, Upper Vidya Pete, Shaka Vidya de Partha Bintue, Tunvanavasa Sahodari and Pitisak, Onge Atakim, Obat Samagabedaganimata Sudana. May our stava own with the Now, our fellow third year undergraduates at the Department of Plant Sciences are ready to share their experiences through an interactive session. Over to you. Plants are the life of the earth. Learning about plants, therefore, become one of the most important fields. So, in our university also, we have the Department of Plant Sciences to study plants. The Department of Plant Sciences is a very good environment of young scientists like you and me to grow beyond our comfort zones. Plants tell us different stories. For different stories they tell, we have different degree programs assigned to learn about it. So as third years from our department, we are going to share our experiences. Our department offers three research-oriented degree programs and one industrial-oriented degree program. Later, you will be briefed about those degree programs separately. Join with us to explore the Department of Plant Sciences of University of Colombo. First, let's look into the Plant Science Research Oriented Degree Program. As plant science students, we exposed to the field work a lot. Throughout these field visits, we get the chance to travel to different areas all over the country. Guys, this is indeed a very exciting experience since we gather a lot of important aspects to our lives. We get the chance to enjoy the breathtaking sceneries of Mother Nature, teamwork, fun time with friends, and some thrilling close contacts with leaders as well. As you can see, we get the rare opportunity to explore the core of the woods, walking alongside with the waterfalls. We are nourished with the immense guidance from our loving lecturers, demonstrators, and also the department alumni. Not only the field work, but we did a lot of fun activities with friends. It's just not the same as a boring classroom. It's a whole new experience. These are some clicks from our field visits to Singharaja Rainforest, I bet some of you also have been there. As you can see over here, this is how we work in the field, learning from the nature. This is much more interesting and exciting and also challenging experience. Working closely with the nature makes us feel more alive. This is something we do as plant taxonomists. Plant specimens are collected from the field and should be preserved for us to study. So we press the specimens just like you dry flowers when you are young by putting them inside a book. This procedure is a bit more advanced version of that. We make herbarium sheets and preserve them in the herbarium. In our department, we have a herbarium as well. If you think we have only field visits, no, we have wet lab as well. We get the hands-on experience in the laboratories, how to handle tools and equipments, how to design experiments, and so forth. These are the other sub-disciplines, such as ecology, biodiversity conservation, GIS, we touch upon as plant science special degree students especially during our individual research project at our fourth year. So, do we have a promising future as a plant science graduate? Yes, of course. Many people think learning plant science 
is only to do with botany. There is no limit to the extent you can go as a plant science graduate. Plants are the life of this world. As long as we have plants, we survive. Therefore, this is one of the most trending fields in the jo world job market. The world needs more botanists, and you also can be one. Now, Chalani will take you through plant biotechnology degree program. Thank you, Shakila. Today, I want to take you on a journey that explores the remarkable opportunities that can be experienced only by a student who follows the plant biotechnology research-oriented degree program offered by the Department of Plant Sciences in Faculty of Science, University of Colombo. Actually, this is an exciting and dynamic academic program which comprises of research work, lab work, as well as field works. Here we come to the most fascinating fact about this plant biotechnology degree program. Research is at the core of scientific progress. You know all the students who follow a special degree will have the chance to do a research in their final year. But plant biotechnology is the only research-oriented degree program that gives you the research exposure in your third year itself. So last year, we did two research projects on genomic DNA extraction and development of an organic fertilizer. And don't forget, more research publications will definitely help you more in your higher education. Of course, no exploration of plant biotechnology would be complete without mentioning the laboratory works. Our degree program provides the students to engage in hands-on wet lab experiences in molecular biology, tissue culture technology, and microbiology. The lab work not only sharpens students' skills, but it also develops their capacity to collaborate, think creatively, improve adaptability, and overcome complicated challenges. As I told you before, not only wet lab experiences, we go on field visits too. Let's look at some of the field trips we have engaged as undergraduates in recent years. You guys might be wondering what are field works. Field work is the place where the magic happens, where theories come alive. During field visits, we were able to gain valuable hands-on experiences by studying the ecosystem health at Bethagana urban wetlands, exploring the rice breeding techniques at Rice Research Institute Bombuela, studying various microbiological applications at Nature's Beauty Creations Private Limited, and exploring the methods of plant propagation in the Royal Botanical Gardens in Peradenia. That was obviously a highly unique experience that anyone might have in their lives. One thing that our lecturers always believe is that learning is not a one-way street, but rather a dynamic process that involves active participation and collaboration. So these are some of the group discussions, case studies, panel discussions, and some of the interactive activities that our lectures used in our learning process. Graduates in plant biotechnology. They are university trained professionals to collaborate biology with the technology. So without any doubt, as a plant biotechnologist, you can secure a job at different ministries and organizations, both public and private sectors, including the education sector, research institution, food and agricultural sector. As you can see, the honors degree program in plant biotechnology enhances the knowledge and practical skills of the students, specifically in a wide array of plant-based industries. Now, Hansi will tell you about the bioinformatics degree program. Over to you, Hansi. Thank you, Chalani. 
Uh, I'm here to present a special degree program, Bioinformatics, conducted by Plant Science Department, University of Colombo. So what is bioinformatics? It is an interdisciplinary field that involves development of methods and software tools to analyze biological data. Interdisciplinary field in the sense this involves different scopes such as computer science, biology, some aspects from chemistry, so more and so forth. For us, computer science courses are conducted by UCSC. Likewise, we get molecular biology courses from our department, one immunology course from zoology department, and computer-aided drug design course from chemistry department. So we get different kinds of courses from different departments. This clearly depicts that bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary field. We have the facilities in our department necessary for bioinformatics, such as two high-performance com computers uh, and high-performance cluster to facilitate projects, tasks related to uh, machine learning and deep learning. During the study, we are doing both dry lab and wet lab work. Dry lab is basically computational analysis for a wide array of different applications. So the main focus is on computation. The skills you gain from dry lab, uh, dry lab work, especially coding skills, are highly beneficial in the future career. In contrast to dry lab practicals, wet lab means working with liquids or chemicals. This would give us hands-on experience related to techniques in molecular biology, which has developed a skill set necessary for research area in molecular biology. As we know, nowadays, massive amount of data is generated. Bioinformatics enables us to handle huge amount of data and make sense of them. Besides, due to the advancement of technology, especially in the last decade, there's a significant improvement of job opportunities worldwide. After graduation, if you are interested in research, working as a bioinformatician, computational biologist, or molecular biologist, so there are a number of opportunities available. On the other hand, bioinformatics graduates are also capable of getting into data science field, software engineering, which has nothing to do with wet lab work. Throughout this journey, under the guidance of our lecturers, demonstrators, we gain not only the hard skills, but also soft skills such as time management, teamwork, adaptability, and learning new things within a short period of time. So this would definitely help us in future to thrive in our workplace. If you are passionate about data analysis interpretation with the aid of development of software tools, then this degree program is the most suitable and best for you. Thank you. Over to you, Minu. Thank you, Hansi. Next, I will give you a brief introduction about the industry-oriented degree program offered by the Department of Plant Sciences, Horticulture, and Sustainable Landscaping. This degree program was the latest addition to our department designed to develop the relevant skills and knowledge needed for the fields of horticulture and landscape. This dynamic program offers the students hands-on and interactive learning experiences and opportunities inside and outside the classroom. They include lab practicals, field visits, continuous assignments, mini projects, and industrial training. These are some captures taken while during the field visits. One of the major components of this degree program is landscape designing and computer applications in landscaping, where students are trained to use various software applications such as AutoCAD and SketchUp. Inviting guest speakers and conducting workshops are classic teaching strategies. Welcoming other voices with relevant information provides students with access to other perspectives, adds variety to the conservative study, and demonstrates that learning is a collaborative enterprise. 
Moreover, this degree program exposes the students to work with the farmers and growers, identify their problems, and make use of various extension tools for tra transferring the latest agricultural technologies. The students were given rigorous orientation and familiarization on various issues and problems expected on farmers' fields and hence gained competence and confidence for solving real life problems in the fields of horticulture. Industrial visits and exposure to Internet of Things and smart agriculture provide the undergraduates the inspiration to engage in agriculture and horticulture in the new age. The industry-oriented degree program in horticulture and sustainable landscaping grooms the undergraduates to enter the workforce as landscape designers, horticulturists, industry leaders, and entrepreneurs in the technologically advanced field. Again, over to you, Shakila. Not even academic work, we enjoy the university life with a loving bunch of friends as a family. We go on trips during our vacation, celebrate birthdays, and so much fun. Here are some photos of the functions we have organized in our department. We also organize New Year celebrations with our loving academic staff, non-academic staff, and seniors. We had a lot of fun playing New Year games with everyone. So, my dear sisters and brothers, this is the Department of Plant Sciences, a place with a lot of love, warmth, and care. This is a place for us to grow, explore, and totally allow to do mistakes. As freshers, you all will be turning your first page of a new chapter, not just academics, but also enjoy the university life to the fullest with good friends. Make it a happening chapter of your life. We wish you all the very best for your future endeavors on behalf of the Department of Plant Sciences. Do the best and be the best. Thank you. Behavinma stoti. Then upper muane, upper with the labi at the prashna kehipe akwetai. Now we shall move on to the QA session for all the questions logged in through the Google form. Um, the question one is Are there any specific subjects I should choose in level one and level two as a direct intake student of biological sciences if I'm willing to join the honors degree program of molecular biology and biotechnology? We are not offering. Yes, we are not offering the uh, molecular biology and biotechnology. So if you are a direct intake uh, molecular biology student, uh, you can apply for that, I think, in the chemistry department is offer conducting that course, actually. So you can follow the handbook because, yes, uh, we are not aware about, sorry, about that because uh, any, any of the CH specific courses, please follow the handbook under CH or MB courses. So you can maybe find the answer. And we've got another question. Can we do more than one core course from BT, or can we do only one course from BT? And if we want more credits, can we do elective courses according to our preference? Um, you have to do all core courses, not just one. Uh, you have to do all core courses. Please read the handbook. It tells you all uh, that 
uh, there are three main subjects chemistry um, botany and zoology and of those three subjects you need to do um, I think uh, for us you have to do the all the core courses right in addition so uh, so you need to complete 30 credits per year minimum and 33 if you want right so uh, you need to select the courses to um, adapt to 30 credits uh, from the main three subjects as well as from either nuclear science or CS uh, courses, right? So all the details are given in the handbook. Please read it carefully. Course marked with the cross. Huh? Yes, core courses mean uh, in the handbook uh, table, uh, the courses marked with the cross. And another question would be, Doctor, please explain symbol that is given on the page on page 135 of the handbook. Uh, the uh, the symbol in the la very last column on the right hand side is uh, the yellow colored one is the symbol for field work. So each of those uh, modules like um, uh, BT1012, uh, uh, which has um, a field work component is indicated with that yellow colored uh, a square symbol. Right, so that is the symbol in the very last column. Then the uh, column before that, um, it tells you whether a course is core. If it is a core, it is indicated as a cross, or you can say like X letter. Uh, then if it, a course is compulsory, it is indicated with a uh, black colored square. And if a course is elective or optional course, it's indicated with a, a circle. Those are the symbols, right? It's given in the page also. Thank you to our panel of professors for those extremely helpful responses. Mea Karen, Adadina Devana Sassie, Palamo Adere, Nimamata Patvenama. Tavat Swalpa Mohotakin Arambavana, Devana Adere, Vidya Pete, Nashtika Vidya Department, to upper Obeta Handun Vadimata Sudana. Etek, Aradana Kerno ran the city netter, Foss Media, up again Nila YouTube Nalika Samagi. We have successfully concluded the first segment of this evening session and now after a brief break we shall proceed with the second segment which is dedicated to the distinguished field of nuclear sciences. We invite you to tune in to the FOSS Media YouTube channel. Thank you. The official media unit of the University of Colombo, Faculty of Science. 
The members of the FOSS Media have the opportunity to gain experience through various fields, including photography, videography, announcing, event hosting, graphic designing, and live streaming. SMA, Kolama Vishwavidyalaya Tulabhavat, Pramukatam Utsava Siyalna Tempahe, Nila Madhya Anugrahaya Sepayime Avastav Himwane, FOSS Media Vethatama Pamanai. Udaharanya question, Vishwavidyalaya Pramukatam Utsava Avastavana, Upadi Pradhan Utsava Nila Sajeevi Vikashela Bade Neda, FOSS Media Madhya Kataya Harahai. In addition to all of these, FOSS Media creates a great environment to enhance your skills and it opens doors to multiple possibilities. A wonderful opportunity is reserved for you to bring all your skills closer to the whole world through the official FOSS Media blog page and FOSS Focus for all your creative thoughts. Sarasavimataka ekinneka ekatukarangata Sahodaratwe sondarubhava atindinaka Me hondamathanai Satata Mitrukama Adhiniya Sahodaratya Piruno Post Media Api Shaktimat Paura Adhaniya Paulak Itin Navakobatat Post Media Api Api Shaktimat Paula Samaga Ekatui Mataradana. So here's a warm welcome to join hands with Post Media to extend our family and to strengthen our bond. Welcome back to the second segment of our evening session in the orientation program. Join us as we explore the captivating world of nuclear sciences. Oba nevathat sambandha vanne Kolapa Vishwavidyalaya Vidyapeetha namne karana vedasathanat samage. Ada dina vedasathane avasana adiyara wen kara atte Vidyapeethe Nyashtika Vidya Departamento wenuwen. මා ඉතමත් ගෞරවයෙන් යුතුව ආරාධනා කරනවා දෙපාර්තමේන්තු ප්‍රධානි ආචාර්ය එම් ආර් ලබා ලමා මදසූරිය මැතිනියට ඔබ සම ආමන්ත්‍රණය කිරීමට. It is our distinct honor to extend a warm and cordial invitation to the head of the Department of Nuclear Sciences, Dr. M. R. Lama Badusuria to address. So good, good evening. So I am here to uh, present about the Department of Nuclear Science and uh, what we offer at, for you as a undergraduate students. So um, first of all, I would like to congratulate you uh, selecting uh, Faculty of Science, uh, University of Columbus, selecting and uh, as a uh, so you have uh, got a golden opportunity. Uh, to become an undergraduate student in this faculty. Uh, so welcome you all. So um, talking about nuclear science, um, so, so in general, uh, idea about nuclear science in the society is very scary. Um, so we are uh, actually, we are one of our uh, uh, main objective is to uh, change that uh, con conception uh, because nuclear science is very be beneficial for many reasons. Uh, so uh, in the Sri Lanka uh, uh, local and uh, local A levels, uh, students are learning nuclear science uh, in, in chemistry uh, and physics. Uh, so they have learned something about radiation, starting with atoms and the nucleus. 
um, and then they also know about what are what are radioisotopes and radiation. So so actually so the, the, uh, so you probably have learned about these things. Uh, I'm very uh, very sure. Uh, and then uh, starting from there, we can develop. I mean, we offer programs that you we can you can develop that uh, knowledge. So nuclear science is mainly talking about radioisotopes and radiation, but there can be uh, non-radioactive isotopes as well. So why we want to uh, learn nuclear science? Nuclear science is an applied nuclear science. Applied science. Um, so if you are a st uh, if you have learned chemistry, uh, physics. Uh, if you are a biology student, biology, uh, radiation, you, you have learned something about radiation. So uh, radiation is everywhere. It's a natural source, just like sunlight, wind, and all uh, water and all that. So radiation is a natural source, and uh, so we we can we when we learn nuclear science, uh, you will be able to apply your knowledge and get the benefit out of it. Uh, not just to get scared, and if you if the if the radiation level or the if the if the radiation uh, the energy if it is too much or too high, that also you need, you can you will be get aware with that knowledge so that you will be able to get protect from the radiation. Department of Nuclear Science is the only education institute that can follow nuclear science course in the university level in Sri Lanka. So you have that opportunity to learn uh, nuclear science courses, or uh, if you really want, you can follow a nuclear science program from our department, and that's a, a very rare opportunity compared to other universities in Sri Lanka. So what are the applications of nuclear science? There are. Uh, many ap applications. So if you know nuclear science, you can apply that to many areas. Uh, one most popular one is the nuclear power, and then the next one is the medical imaging and uh, radiological applications. Uh, and also there are agriculture, food industry, research work, environmental science, and many other industries you can use this knowledge, nuclear science. Uh, so the scopes, so if you have the have a nuclear science background, um, you can, uh, you, you may be able to work in a radiologic units in hospitals uh, because you, you may, uh, we, we, are, we offer programs and courses uh, related to uh, uh, medical imaging um, and then radiotherapy and then uh, also this is applicable if you are an environmental scientist. You, this can be an applic applicable uh, uh, field. And uh, one main organization in Sri Lanka uh, doing ap uh, applied nuclear science is Sri Lanka Atomic Energy Board. And then uh, there is Sri Lanka Atomic Energy Regulatory Council as well. And then uh, radiation. Uh, can be uh, applied as industrial. That is what you call industrial radiography. Uh, so it's not only medical, uh, uh, medically that you can use, but radiography can be applied in industry. And then um, uh, if you are interested to go overseas, of course, there are many foreign uh, jobs and postgraduate opportunities. So our past students, uh, almost 100% uh, 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 who have applied for postgraduate uh, programs, they got this. Uh, they got selected for uh, various nuclear science programs, and uh, then uh, you also can uh, go for teaching, university academics, and all that. So those are the main scopes of nuclear science. So then let me introduce our staff members. So uh, I'm the head of the department, uh, Manu Chalam Abdul Surya. Um, and then we have um, Dr. Jay Singham, Jay Sugitan. So uh, 
So Dr. Jaisingham is a medical physicist. So if you are interested on medical physics, uh, he'll be, uh, uh, he, he can assist you. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so uh, then we, we have Mr. Duminda Satrasinghe having radiography background. Then we have uh, Ms. Mahesha Jayakodi. Uh, she's capable of uh, uh, computational studies. Uh, then uh, we have Dr. Jivendra Vikramasinghe uh, who recently got her PhD and uh, so she's specialized in radiation biology. And uh, we have uh, Ms. Madhushika, uh, who just got selected for her PhD, and he's, uh, she's planning to leave to USA. And also we have Mr. Kavin Daliyanage. So all of them, uh, so they are all, uh, so those are our academic staff members and temporary academic staff members. Uh, so they all are very helpful uh, for newcomers as well as any students who are willing to um, learn something about nuclear science. So uh, you all are welcome to visit our department and learn about more details. Um, and he, they will be the people who can support you. And also we have uh, our scientific assistant who will, uh, Ms. MDS Pushparani, and uh, she, she, she will be able to assist you in laboratory practicals and uh, radiation protection uh, information. We also have um, several non-academic staff members, uh, Mr. Manjula Tilakaratna, Ms. Agna Uddipani, and Ms. Mrs. Visuddhi uh, Anushima. Uh, they are the, our near technical officers. And then we have Mrs. Ramya Sandamali. Uh, she, she is our uh, management assistant. So, um, so our department is uh, the first uh, building that you will see on the right uh, when you just enter from the Thurston Road uh, uh, gate. So, um, so I, I, I forgot to tell about that. Uh, so I, you will not uh, miss that. Um, so let's move on to the how you select nuclear science or NS courses. So as a first year student, and if you are a bio or MB student, uh, we offer in, in your level, that's level one, we, we offer six credits. Uh, uh, so they all are uh, named as NS something, okay? So these NS courses, we, uh, so we ha offer level one, uh, six credits, and uh, level two, six credits. So in your first semester, actually, you will have three credit of one course in your, uh, that is your uh, first semester. So similarly, you will have three more credits in the second semester. Uh, with two courses, and then in level two, you will have one credit in one semester and another credit in the second semester. So the choice how you choose NS core courses. Uh, so uh, um, the way you have to choose is you, uh, if you want to drop computer science CS courses, you can uh, in that in the, in each semester you can uh, you have the option to select NS. So you cannot. Uh, select both CS and NS in one semester. Uh, and if you are a physical science student, and if you are in the co in a combination of P1, P2, P3, P4, and P5, the, so those students are the one who that uh, taking chemistry or physics as their subjects. So they are offered NS courses. And again, six credits in level one and six credits in level two we are offering. And same, uh, same way you can choose if you, can drop, if you want to drop CS courses in any semester, you can choose NS. So I will show one example. Now if you are in, so you are in the level one. And in the semester one, uh, there, 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 there are, there's a CS course, CS1100. So if you want to drop that, you, 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 you can uh, uh, select, you can register for NS1001, Fundamentals of Nuclear Science. And in the semester two, 
uh, you have CS101 cores, and if you want to drop that, you can select NS1002 nuclear techniques, one credit course, and NS1003 computational methods in nuclear science course. So uh, even if you, uh, even if, uh, so in this computational uh, methods uh, in nuclear science course, you uh, actually get the uh, uh, opportunity to do, uh, work with computers. So even if you uh, drop CS, you will uh, still get that opportunity. So this is how you can select NS. Uh, so, um, so it's your choice. And um, if you uh, choose both level one and level two, NS courses, all the NS courses, uh, you may be eligible to get uh, uh, enter into one of our two programs. So uh, those are nuclear medical science program and nuclear technology program. So nuclear medical science is the research oriented program and nuclear technology is the industrial oriented program. Uh, so. So what the minimum requirement is, you need to do all the NS courses in the level one and level two, and also you have to get minimum GPA of three in all those core courses. We will take six students for nuclear medical science program, and we will also take six students for nuclear technology program. So all these details are in your handbook. So. Uh, you can go uh, uh, take your handbook and read all this uh, information. And then I have to make a fair warning. If you, are, if you have a plan to select any of these honors degree programs that need computer base, those are uh, coming from the CS courses, you should not drop CS courses. Okay, so these are some examples compu like computational physics, computational chemistry, computational mathematics, statistics for computer science and bioinformatics. So those programs, uh, you, you can get more information in the handbook. Those programs, CS courses are prerequisites. They are, you need to take them, otherwise you are not eligible for selecting those programs. Then I like, I'd like to move on to uh, show some facilities we have. Um, so of course we are uh, doing theory, theory in nuclear science, and then we also have to show and uh, demonstrate, and then you need to get some hands-on experience, uh, and we give that opportunity in our lab facilities. So we have uh, basically two labs and the, uh, the counting lab. We have several instruments that can measure radiation. So, if you learn, if you have learned some radiation, you may know we can uh, measure gamma radiation. We can measure alpha uh, and then beta uh, particles. So, those uh, main radiation you can measure from the instruments that we have, and then you can do pract uh, several practicals, and then you can learn about uh, how to use them in uh, environmental monitoring and um, then many other applications and also you will learn about how to get uh, uh, the how how you use the safety precautions um, and safety monitoring and also we give the opportunity to uh, train at hospitals especially if you are a, if you become a nuclear medical science honors degree student uh, we give the hospital uh, training in uh, radiological units because we are covering nuclear medicine, radiography, and radiotherapy, and uh, diagnostic radiology. Uh, so those are the those are those are some areas of uh, the, this uh, program, nuclear medical science. So you get the opportunity to learn about this uh, X-ray, CT scans, mammography, and all these um, radiological uh, measures. Uh, so so that is part of our training. And then in terms of environmental monitoring, we, uh, we go to field visits and monitor radiation in, the, in certain areas. So we take our instruments and uh, so, so these are some pictures that you, uh, our past students have done, some radiation monitoring uh, experiments and research work. And these are some more pictures. And then uh, this is not a, uh, so our, our pr 
teaching and research work are not isolated or uh, they are not standalone. We collaborate uh, with different institutes, especially hospitals, uh, both government and private hospitals. We collaborate and also we collaborate uh, work with Sri Lanka Atomic Energy Board and Sri Lanka Atomic Energy Regulatory Council. Uh, and then uh, National Center for Non-Destructive Testing and Gamma Center. So our student society is known as Scintilla. Uh, so we have an active group of senior student society. So more details will be talked by, uh, by our president of Scintilla uh, and uh, so, some other members. Uh, so, uh, so, the, uh, what, so they will explain what are the activities they are doing, and uh, whether if you are if you uh, have, if you are interested, you also can uh, join our society while you are uh, in, in 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 the faculty of science. So um, that's all I'm, I have for you, and uh, wishing you all the very best on your studies at Faculty of Science, University of Colombo. Uh, and one last message that I'd like to give you, uh, nuclear science is a, uh, it can be a rare opportunity to learn because especially in our country, so we give that opportunity. So at least I would like you to see, uh, all of you to see, uh, and um, I would like uh, all of you at least taking one in this course so that you can get some flavor of nuclear science from the Department of Nuclear Science. Good luck and thank you. Behavin Mastuti Patidini. May say Patkirima, Obat at the Gatlo Nirakarne, Karaganimas and the High. Upagi YouTube Saji Vikashi or Selaba, the Ethi Google Patrika Vaharha, Obeta Obe Gatlo, Upper Vetum Kirima de Hekia Vatibina. To submit your queries and questions, you may use the Google form that is pinned in the live chat or provided in the description box of the official FOSS Media YouTube page. Milankata Nyashtika Vidya Departamentu Sangamaya Sintila Pilibadava Obat Obavadanwat Kirimata Mearadhanya Sabhapati Eranga Randil Soidasaha Viruna Viruna Nadun Soidantai. We are now moving to the next session of clubs and societies in collaboration with the Department of Nuclear Science. We kindly invite the President Erangarandil and Viruna Nadun of Sintila, the Nuclear Science Society, to join us and share their insights. Good evening, everyone. So first, I have to uh, congratulate all of you for selecting uh, University of Colombo Faculty of Science. So uh, I'm the current president of the uh, Scintilla. So this is the uh, Scintilla is the uh, official uh, official uh, club of the uh, Department of Nuclear Science. So so I would like to. Uh, uh, Mention you uh, what are what 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 we are doing uh, last years. So, so the Scintilla Nuclear Science Society was established on uh, 2018. So uh, we are uh, we, we are do, uh, we did so much works uh, last few years. So let's see what are the uh, things. So uh, so first we uh, we did a SLAS Science and Technology Exhibition in 2018. So uh, this is the uh, this is uh, collaboration with the SLAS. So uh, in this uh, exhibition, we did uh, some great uh, works of the radiological science and uh, uh, and the radioactive uh, radi uh, radioactive beach uh, science in Sri Lanka. So uh, giving awareness of the uh, 
uh, of the students of uh, uh, the, which uh, they like to do uh, the n nuclear science. Uh, uh, so national workshop on the radiological science in the 2018. So this is the one day national workshop of the radiological science. So uh, in the Jaffna, so uh, in, uh, in this, uh, this is a medical physics workshop. So uh, uh, so also we did uh, some uh, webinar series in the, uh, 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 in uh, this, uh, Scintilla Club, so radiological gemstone, uh, gemstone uh, uh, in mineralogy uh, of the Sri Lanka. So um, in this webinar series, uh, this uh, webinar series was collaborated in the SLAS, uh, Sri Lanka Ad Advanced uh, 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 Scintilla uh, uh, Nuclear Science Society, collaborate, in collaborated with the Sri Lanka Associated in the Advanced uh, advancement of the uh, science in SLAS. So, uh, so in 2019, so we did uh, some uh, science uh, session for the freshers, uh, like the orient orientation of this uh, uh, year. So we did some uh, uh, activities on the physically. Uh, so uh, Scintilla, Nuclear Science Society, uh, 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 in collaborated with Scintilla uh, 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 Nucleus and Society was uh, uh, did the uh, did the main things of the uh, of a science session for the freshers in 2019. Uh, so also we uh, did some uh, entertainment purposes uh, like annual trip of 2018. So, uh, so this is the Science for Life workshop. So workshop in 2019. So this is the uh, A-level and uh, A-level science students. Uh, we are focusing on the A-level uh, science students of the uh, uh, science students so we are uh, we are try to uh, uh, improve their science knowledge so uh, we did this uh, uh, workshop in the uh, bandarala central college so this is the sum of uh, photos of the uh, workshop uh, also we did the uh, blogging competition of the 2019 atmos uh, blogging competition so this is the this is uh, relative for the uh, nuclear science uh, so nuclear science uh, uh, nuclear science uh, and technology uh, blogging competition. So those are the winners of the uh, this uh, blogging competition. Uh, so also we uh, did some webinar series with the outsiders. So uh, this is nuclear technology uh, workshop. So what are the so we uh, in here we focus on what are the uh, newest uh, technologies of the uh, nuclear science. So uh, we invited to the uh, Dr. Chandana Sumitra Raj to uh, do the presentation, and uh, in uh, 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 in the corona uh, in the cor COVID. Uh, 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 time, so we also did some uh, projects on the online. Uh, so I would like to invite uh, my uh, first year, uh, my uh, member of the Scintilla uh, 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 Nucleus and Society to continue the, uh, what, what they did the last year. Uh, I'm going to talk about some of the um, programs we organized in our society. So we conduct a webinar series called Colossans uh, with three phases in 2020. Uh, Mr. KKPIK Kadaduna, uh, who is the Deputy Director Inspection in Sri Lankan Atomic Energy Board, conducted the session. Uh, the objective of this program was to 
given awareness to students and nuclear workers in nuclear industry. Mm, in 20 In 2021, Ms. Rui Pereira, who graduated from our university, collaborated with us to conduct another webinar series on insight to nuclear science industry. And now she is in Paris learning for be a nuclear engineer. Uh, we didn't get the chance to conduct our some of our planned programs in 2022 because of the corona pandemic situation in our country. Mm. Then we visited to the Sri Lanka Gamma Center in the Bia Gamma Trade Zone in 2023 with students who engaged in studying nuclear science and all the members of our Scintilla Nuclear Science Society. Mm. As a fundraising program, we organized a, a charu stall in our university premise. Finally, we did a stress releasing management, stress, release, stress management program. Mm. Okay, this is the some of our, some of the pictures. Uh, this is, uh, finally we did a stress management program for university students with two doctors in 2023 and we, wo we are warmly welcome to you all to our society Scintilla Nuclear Science Society. Join with us and learn more about nuclear science. Collect some un unforgettable memories in your university life. Thank you. Nevertheless, may say Pat Kirima, visit Nama when his Sanduda, wish you with the Alta Pemini Medi, Regina Obevisin, Regina Ayutu Lipilak and a Sambandavai. Shisha Prakashe Hevat student declaration form Upena Sahatike, Aposa Samani Pelaha, Usas Pelapratipala Lakana, Saha, Jatika and the Numpate, Satte, Sahatikanula the Pitapat. Atulat V may Halia Padinchu V may gas to Gavu Bavatavana, Banku ten Patricit Pata Upen Sahatike, Namahi Venesak Ethnam, Ebava Sahatika Kerna Durum Prakashiak, Passport Pramani, Varna Chayaru, Rupatunak. Never that Emily Pilekana Shisha Prakashi Hevat, Student Declaration Form Upen Sahatike, Aposasama Nepilha, Usas Pilla Pratipala Lakana Ha, Jatika Hendurum Pate, Satya Sahatika Kernala the Pitapat. Atulat V may Halia Padinchi V may gas to Gavu Bavatavana, Banku receipt Pata, Passport Pramane Varna Chaya Rupatunak, Upen Sahatike, Namahi Venasak Etnam, may Baba Sahatika Kerna Durum Prakashiak, Yana, Lipileka, Obavisin, Visinama Venisanduda, Dina, Vishavidal Pemini, Midi, Ragina Ayutui. Eva Gamma, may some band the Denum Dimak, may when a bit at Vishavidal Vitutapalata, Obatelebi et. We have a special announcement. University activities will be initiated physically on Monday, the 29th of May. Thus, there are a few documents that must be compulsorily brought to you, brought with you on the said date. And they are as follows. Student declaration form, certified true copies of the birth certificate, GCE A-level certificate, GCE O-level certificate, National Identity Card, pain in slip paid for the admission and registration fee, three copies of colored passport sized photos, affidavit if there are any changes in the name other than that is said in the birth certificate. And let me repeat the documents again. Student declaration form, certified true copies of the birth certificate, GCE A-level certificate, GCE O-Level Certificate, National Identity Card, Pain in Slip, paid for the admission card and registration fee, three copies of the colored passport sized photos, and an affidavit if there are any changes in the name other than that is given in the birth certificate. 
Moreover, an email has been sent to your respective university email address regarding these documents, which must be compulsory brought on Monday, the 29th of May. Then, we will move on to the question of the question. Now we shall move on to the Q&A session which, uh, which, are, which is logged into the Google form that is provided. So the first question is, if we choose NS courses to cover 30 credits, should we do all the six credits in level one? Yes, uh, 30 credits. Uh, uh, so maybe the question is, uh, is it, um, Covering the third, is, is it including 30 credits? Yes. Maybe. Um, Nine NS courses to cover 30 credits. So it means like doing all the NS courses. Uh, in level one, you have six credits, and level two, you have six credits. So then. Uh, then if you are uh, if you are uh, in a, if you selected our honors degree programs yes then you will get 30 credits each in e each level i don't know whether that is the qu question you are asking uh, yes it must be maybe yes. right but then um, uh, you can i mean any time if you are in the level 1 or level 2 you can select uh, i mean you can switch some some students uh, they they switch to NS to CS and then again uh, NS. So uh, each semester you can you have the choice that you can choose either NS or CS courses. The next question is, what are the lessons that we have to learn related to computer science in computational methods in nuclear science? Um. Shall I give that to Mahesha? Uh, so in the computational uh, methods in nuclear science, we'll, uh, we are covering uh, the basics, uh, basic uh, computational methods. Uh, starting from the very basics, we will give you uh, the knowledge uh, up to uh, the introduction to uh, computer simulations. So, talking about the computational languages, uh, basically we are uh, doing uh, the course using Python, and also uh, in the second year uh, we will also doing the MATLAB uh, programming also. The next question is: Is it compulsory to choose CS or NS? Um. It's uh, okay, so um, I'm not sure whether uh, which uh, combination you are in. So I think um, for level one, uh, if you are a bio student uh, and you, you need to select 30 credits. Um, so um, uh, I can't remember all how many credits you will have for the your other three. There's, there are three subjects. So from that three subjects, you will get uh, almost 20, uh, I think 25 to 27 courses. You will be filled by the three main subjects. So then you will uh, have about two or three credits, uh, maximum four, um, to select either ICS or NS. So if you are a physical science student, um, Maybe you will have more room, uh, some in co some combination. So it's I'm I'm talking in very general. So some combination you have more room to do with the C CSO and NSO. The idea is that you have to select your three main subjects, and then uh, the rest you can select um, uh, whatever you like. Some people just drop everything and uh, just select optional courses. So it's up to you. But you have to select the total number of credits, that is 30 credits each year. We got some more questions. What is the degree program that I should follow if I want to become a nuclear physicist? Um, nuclear physics, 
um, I think both our uh, programs, uh, nuclear physics, um, uh, we, we are covering some nuclear physics. Um, I hope you are asking about nuclear physicist. So, um, yeah, so uh, I think you can, if you have a physics background and then uh, if you take nuclear medical science or nuclear technology, uh, you, you can go to that level, nuclear physics. Maybe you need some more postgraduate level uh, study. Um, but I think you can get the background for both, our, both of our programs. Um, you can become a nuclear physicist. Another question directed is, can nuclear medicine graduates be employed in hospitals? Um, so, um, in government hospitals, there are uh, requirements. Um, so, uh, 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 nuclear medical, uh, as a medical physicist, maybe not, because you need a physics background, physics four-year degree, uh, to become a medical physicist, but then um, uh, you can have uh, maybe in private hospitals, uh, radiological units, maybe you have some opportunities. Um, but then uh, in Sri Lanka, there is no direct profession called nuclear medical scientist or some, uh, so there is nothing like that in Sri Lanka, but then there are opportunities in foreign countries. Maybe you want to. Yeah, in Sri Lanka, I think the current sit the current scenario. Then uh, you, uh, in future, you can apply for the medical physics job. So that related to your uh, honors degree. If you if you have done any honors degree program in medical uh, science or honors degree program, then you can go for a. You have to sit the exams. That's all I all I in service like SLAs. You have to sit an exam. Then if you are selected from the exam, then you can. Uh, there's a chance you can work as a. Uh, medical physicist at the hospital or radiation protection officers in the hospital. So in future we are planning to uh, introduce some other courses then the, those are from direct intake. So those students may uh, directly they can go and work as a um, uh, medical imaging technologist in, in future not in not in this year maybe ne from the next year. The next question is what is the benefit of doing NS for a student who has a plan to do chemistry honors degree? Um, so it's a difficult question, but uh, then uh, of course uh, nuclear science uh, can be applied for all different fields. So um, now, for example, okay, so if you want to do chemical chemistry in uh, honors degree, some chemistry honors degree. Um, and then uh, doing nuclear science may have an advantage or benefit if you would like to choose a research program, something related to chemistry and nuclear science, because uh, nuclear science, uh, of course, uh, can be related to uh, chemistry, because I'm, I'm also having a chemistry background. So we have radiochemistry and nuclear analytical uh, techniques then that can apply for any um, chemistry-based uh, program or chemical applications you can you can use so there is there are advantages but uh, it's not a must it's not a must that you have to choose NS to become selected for chemistry uh, on a degree there is no connection thank you dear panel of professors for those extremely helpful responses for our freshers Eight Samakin, Kolabe Visho Vidale, Vidya Pete, the Dahas Visit Deka, the Dahas Visit Tuna, Adena Varshas and Havu, Namni Kernavadstahani, Tun Vadine, Messeni Mamata Patveneva. Mehi, Memberstahani, Silver Dinevena, Heta Dinedi, Foss Media, Kolabe Visho Vidale, Vidya Pete, Nilama, Deka Kat Samagi, Rand Sitina Tara, the Nakarmin, Samagana, Obata, Suadai Sandavak. We have successfully concluded the third day of the orient orientation program of the Faculty of Science, University of Colombo. We invite you to tune in for the fourth day for the FOSS Media, the official media unit of the Faculty of Science, University of Colombo. Good evening.
ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಕೊಳಮ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾಪೀಠೆಯೇ ನಿಲ ಮಾಧ್ಯ ಏಕಕಯ ದೆದಾಸ್ ದೊಲಹವಸರೇ ಸಿಎಂ ಮುಳ್ಳಾರಾಂಬೆ ಸಣ್ಣಿಟು ಹಂತರನ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಎದಾ ಮೆದಾತುರ ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ತುಲಮ ಪ್ರಮುಖ ತಮ್ಮ ಮಾಧ್ಯ ಏಕತೆಯ ವೆಮಿ ಮೇ ಬನ ವಿಟಾ ತಮ್ಮ ಮಾಧ್ಯ ಮೆಹವರ ಇಟ್ಟು ಕರಮಿನ್ ಪಾವತಿನ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ದಿ ಅಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕಲಾಂಬೋ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ the members of the fos media have the opportunity to gain experience through various fields including photography videography announcing event hosting graphic designing and live streaming sm kolamba vishwavidyalaya tula pavat pramukatam utsava siyalla tempa he nila madhya anugrahaya sapeyime avasthava himanne fos media wetatama pamanai udaharana question vishwavidyalaya pramukatam utsava avasthava wana ಉಪಾಧಿ ಪ್ರಧಾನೋತ್ಸವೇ ನಿಲ ಸಜೀವಿ ವಿಕಾಶ ಲಾಭದಾಯಕತೆಯ ಆರಾಧನಾ So he is a warm welcome to join hands with Fox Media to extend our family and to strengthen our bonds.